Uh, the three most audited items that people like to write off are meals, miles, and merrymaking, but that's pretty much entertainment. I was trying to be cute with three M's. And, um, and I'm gonna tell you how you should be logging these and um, ways that you can um, still write off these things. So in 2018, they basically came out and said, you can't do entertainment. You cannot write off as a business owner entertainment anymore. And what they're trying to do is get away from people that um, sold a home to their best friend 20 years ago and they're taking their best friend to a Super Bowl game and they're writing off like a $30,000 trip. So there are still ways you can write off entertainment. Um, so for my team, we just went to a baseball game, write the whole thing off, right? Because that's team bonding and building. Um, we go to spa days after April 15th because we're a tax firm and we're all pooped. Actually, only the girls go because I don't want to see a guy in a bathrobe that works for me because that would be gross. But there's ways to still write off entertainment as long as it's team building. Um, and so how I write that off is I save my receipt and I put it in my calendar that I'm taking all my girls to the spa. And, um, and then I write down a couple of things that we talked about to team build, and I put that in my calendar. If you ever get audited, your calendar is your Bible, right? Miles, um, everyone has miles in a business owner, so there's two ways that you can account for <coughs> mileage or for car expenses. There's actual, where you can take the actual amount of your car, the fair market value of your car, or your lease payments. By the way, lease payments are the worst financial decision. Don't lease a car if you get the opportunity to get out of the lease, always buy a card. car. I prefer paying cash for a car. I know sometimes that sounds unrealistic, but you just keep buying up. You buy the $2,000 beater car and you keep exchanging it up until you can get a nice car. Um, if you can't pay cash for a car, I always say buy, don't buy brand new, right? That's stupid too. Buy two years old, 20,000 miles on it. That's just my soapbox. I'm trying to instill upon you some financial um, wisdom. For today. But anyway, you can write off the fair market value of your car or your lease payments. You can write off your interest, your fuel, or your repairs, your insurance, your DMV fees. These are all benefits to owning a business. So you might make $400,000 a year, but you might only have to pay taxes on $150,000 with the right techniques and tools, right? That's always the goal. Our goal is to get you to pay as little as legally possible to the IRS by using these legal loopholes. Or you can take mileage. Right, and mileage, we recommend downloading an app. We like an app called Mileage IQ to account for your apps. In 2019, mileage is 58 cents a mile currently. It might change halfway through the year. Um, so those are the two versions of how you can write off a car in your business.